I'm Gemma from Gemma's Cakes and I started uh, my business about five years ago when I made my daughter's birthday cake. Um, it wasn't planned, that's just how it turned out. And then a few months later, I decided to leave my job and my husband then was helping me bake and he decided he'd do the same thing. So we're now both full-time in the business together. You should definitely book your cake as soon as you get your venue and date sorted. We have people booking their cakes up to two years in advance, uh, so it's really important, especially if you're picking a time of year that's really busy. For example, May to, to September and December are really busy for weddings, especially during holiday times. Uh, so definitely, as soon as you know who you want to make your cake, get booked in with them. Yes, I would definitely recommend having a tasting. Um, if you are too busy for appointments, uh, I would suggest even tracking down your, your favourite cake supplier at one of the wedding shows and trying the cake there. It's really important that your cake tastes as good as it looks. We would hold um, cake tastings regularly and we hold these in the wedding centre in Randallstown and it's complimentary to try the cake and there's no obligation to book either. We actually include delivery in our prices. Uh, we feel it's important that the cake is there uh, in one piece and delivered safely uh, for your special day. The last thing you need to be worrying about is how your cake is going to get to the venue or even worse, trying to get it there yourself the day before. That's no problem. We can cater for all numbers. And you know, so if you want to have a three, four or five tier cake, you can still have your guests come into the room and see this this huge cake but you don't necessarily have to have that amount of cake we can just put you know we work with dummies quite often so we can use dummy tiers and then have cake in the kitchen and it means then as well you know because you don't have to have as much cake you're not going to be left with loads of cake afterwards and eating it for months <laughs> Definitely our most popular would be raspberry and white chocolate. It's a really great all-rounder, so it's going to suit everybody. I don't think I've ever met anybody who doesn't like it. Um, for something a wee bit more exciting, I would say most popular from our list would be chocolate Guinness um, and red velvet and maybe some Malteser. Um, chocolate Guinness is a great one because it's a, like a talking point for your guests, you know, especially if you've got guests maybe who have travelled to get to the wedding. Um, it's like the whole Irish thing, they just love it. Yes, definitely, we can cater for the more traditional right through to farm theme, Disney theme, whatever it is that you fancy. The most important thing is that you're happy with your cake on the day. Well, our aim is to make it as stress-free and relaxed as possible for you. So it's not necessary to be running to appointments all the time. What we do is we meet with you initially if, if you have the time to come in and, and try some cake and go through some designs. And at that stage, it's not necessary for you even to pick your design or your flavors that can all follow. The most important thing is securing your date. And then as we get closer to the wedding, just keep in touch via email or private message and we can finalise the sign and papers at that stage, but really it's all stress free. This year I would expect to see more of our fabulous buttercream cakes with fresh flowers on um, and then maybe uh, naked cakes again with your fruit and fresh flowers too going on then into uh, gold sequins and metallics and even some art deco coming through some geometric designs I would say will be will definitely be making an appearance. 